everybody welcome back to a new vlog we are picking up where we left off last week on the boat for those of you who didn't watch last week's vlog we are aboard ilma which is the ritz carlton collections new super yacht i feel like my head is too big for this that's not great. How am I only now discovering I have a huge head? But yeah, anyway, we are aboard Ilma. We actually, it has not set sail yet. I'm picking up where I left off in the last vlog because I didn't want it to be really long and like mismatched. So we are all aboard. We are getting ready for the kind of sail away drinks, like the celebratory drinks, which should be really fun. Along with us on the boat, and when I say us, I mean Ryan, who I think you can see a smidge of his arm here. Yeah. Hello. It's actually very rare that Ryan and I get to, he's shaving by the way, which is why the tap is like on off. It's very rare that I get to bring Ryan on press trips. And I was saying earlier, you know they're going to be a good trip when they say you can have a plus one. Like you just always know it's going to be so good. I thought you were going to say when I'm there. But also that, that it's, it's, it's twofold. It's good on the brand because I just know like it's just going to be a really great trip. They're just being super nice. Obviously it's fine when we don't get a plus one, but it is also just really fun because I know it's going to be a good time because I have you with me. And it's just, it's so nice. Like it's just nice being in the room and like you're here. I feel like I'm at home which is nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh. This is also our final voyage, voyage. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. This is also our final voyage together as a fiancé situ. So Ryan is with me and also aboard Ilma is Victoria and Amelia and Alex and Pia. And so it's just the best group. Like it was already good to begin with when they said Ryan could come and then I found out that Victoria and Amelia were also coming and you just know we're all going to have the best time. And we are here. Hello? Is that the... Is that our door? Is that I don't know. Do we need to get our swimming coats on? We've got the doorbell, that's so funny. Not the door? So weird. Right? Has he been murdered? What's happening? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's the we're moving situ. Oh, because it's meant to be super cool. Oh, that's not. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. This is Captain Darren speaking from the navigational bridge to uh, welcome everybody aboard this beautiful yacht. We hope uh, you're enjoying uh, the festivities on board. Okay, our guy has finished his chat. Where was I? So we are here on the yacht as guests of 111 Skin. They do the spa treatments on this ship and I get to have a spa treatment tomorrow. I'm so excited. I can't wait. So tonight we're going up onto the deck for sail away drinks and then we're having dinner with the 111 Skin team, which will just be so nice. So for those of you that didn't watch the last vlog, we're in Barcelona at the moment. That's where we're sailing from. We sail to Saint-Tropez overnight, stay there for a little bit and then end up in Monte Carlo, which is just gonna be so fun. And then we fly home from Nice. And I'm so looking forward to it. Me and Ryan love going to the South of France. But anyway, I'm just gonna do my normal makeup routine tonight just something super quick and easy because i actually have to do my hair today my heatless curls just they dropped on one side hmm <laughs> great so i'm gonna have to actually curl my hair i think and then it might need to be an updo situation for the rest of the trip but we're going we're trying for the first night this year it is its first voyage Ever. so everything on it is like brand spanking new the bathroom is stunning everything is stunning perfect immaculate vibes the dressing gown is fresh fresh and it is the softest dressing gown I've ever worn in my life and they also the slippers I actually haven't told Brian how comfy they are yet because I'm scared he'll steal them but oh my freaking god I've never felt something so soft and squishy in my whole entire it's like an actual slipper not like one of those little flippy flappy things that you get in hotels like it's an, it's an actual cloud slipper it's so nice i'm very comfortable right now i don't want to get changed <laughs> but don't worry i will be i'm actually really excited about this evening's outfit again i'm not to bang on about it but if you watched the last vlog i think you'll know what i'm wearing this evening you will have seen it and it's just so nice so equally whilst i'm loving this dressing gown i'm also very excited to wear said dress i'm gonna crack on and get ready because like i said i have to do my hair i literally since may have or june can count the amount of times on both hands that i have heat styled my hair which is 
wild for the girl that used to heat style her hair every day so the thought of actually having to do my hair does now stress me a tiny tiny bit so i'm gonna crack on and get ready and i'll be back with you shortly when i am a little bit more ready bye okay it's time to get ready this is my walk-in wardrobe i unpacked everything and i'm very very happy with that life choice is actually just made seeing everything so much easier obviously but it's also just very pleasing like i even did all of my jewelry so i can see it all oh it's just so nice it's so satisfying it was really i actually really enjoyed doing this and i never thought i would ever say that i've got quite a hat collection going on on this trip which is unusual for me there's another one up there but yeah anyway this is my <laughs> i was about to say small capsule wardrobe for this trip but this is actually this is a lot of clothes <laughs> you need choices okay you need choices anyway this is what i'm going to be wearing tonight the theme is blue and I'd already seen this before I even saw the dress code for this trip and I just loved it so much. So I'm gonna get this on now. For dinner, I forgot to show you my outfit, but it's fine. I'll show you when I'm back in the room. I'm with my favorite wee human. I'm actually wearing Susie's dress and Susie's earrings, but it's so cold. I really want to put on this jumper tonight. It looks so underdressed. No, do it. Be more. Everyone else knows you look hot to me. I I don't want this back now, it looks so good on her. I was like, it does not look like this on me. You keep it, I don't want it back. <laughs> it is so cute. I'm like, oh, it looks good on Susie. You can wear this after as well. Yeah, I love this one. It's really good. You look cozy now. Do you like my earrings? They're so nice. Oh my God, I love them on you. Susie, you now the X. I need to get you a pair. They actually even look good with the jumper, don't they? They do, they look good with everything. Yeah, at first I was like, oh, these are quite a dressy earring that like oh, they'll be like night giving, out only, but I think they look great. Like a white shirt as well. I think they look amazing. Yeah, a white shirt. I've gone to the other end of the spectrum with it. Oh, oh, perfect. Thank you. Captain Greenwood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> Can you talk us through this evening's outfit? Yes. Oh my god, I actually didn't show them my outfit. That's so funny that you said that. This is a really snuggly blanket from the cupboard. <laughs> so we have these two walk-in wardrobes. I don't know if I showed you Ryan's one, but Ryan's one is equally as like neat and tidy as mine. It's really cute. He's very domesticated, we love. Very demure, very mindful. I got my quota of one TikTok reference per video in right at the beginning, so that's good. Yeah, so I was going through Ryan's wardrobe when I was like putting some things of his in there and I opened this case up and inside it's, I thought it was gonna be a fleece dressing gown, but it's this, this is the, softest <laughs> honestly i wish there was touch vision it's like one of those fleece you know when you go to dunelm <laughs> and you get those fleece blankets it's like that but for bougie people especially. i was only joking but you've actually given a full review no i i really <laughs> want this blanket like i'm gonna be taking a photo of the tag and i'm going to get one for every room in our house because it's just so nice yeah take a good look people because you need that I was more doing it just so you could look back. Oh, that too, but everyone else needs to know. <laughs> everyone needs one of these. Ryan just turned around and I was sat doing this. <laughs> if anyone remembers the lockdown TikToks, oh my god, it'd be like when you find your girlfriend in her room on her period. <laughs> And I just do it every so often and it's so funny. If you couldn't already tell, I've got to that delusional point in the evening where I really need to go to bed. So I think we're gonna see you in the morning. I don't even, I can't, I don't even have it in me to take off my skincare with, to take off my skincare, to take off my makeup with you and do my skincare. Like I will be doing it, but I just, I can do no more. Need to catch some Zeds. I need some Zeds, oh my God. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Good morning. Wow, this is spinning me out a little bit, I can't lie. In my head, I'm in a hotel, but when I look out, the sea is moving. I'm just getting ready to go to the gym this morning. I was going with Amelia, but she has not messaged me back, so I'm just gonna go. Got my headphones and my phone. <laughs> I'm 
about to have my mom on skin facial. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. The brief is I want to be a hydrated gal by the end of this. Okay. Before and after. Oh my god. The cheekbones. Oh my god. My face has truly been like sculpted. Wow. Good seed from. Have about three hours until we're in Saint Tropez. It's just somewhere up there. It's around 11:30. It's time to get ready for lunch. I also have some photos to shoot before lunch, so it's go 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 around here. So I'm gonna do a quick daytime plan. And about three o'clock, we should arrive in Saint Tropez, which is so exciting. I go to Saint Tropez a lot for work, but because it's work, I only really end up seeing like a street. The itineraries are normally jam-packed, and you are taken from like wherever you're staying to dinner and you don't really see too much so i'm really excited to just have time in saint tropez to actually see saint tropez that's going to be so nice just have a good wander around ryan and i have never been together either it's always somewhere that we'd said we wanted to go we love a little south of france trip so this is really up our street oh my god my skin is so glowy wow she really sculpted my face as well. I'm very appreciative of that because I've been feeling really, really puffy. I wish I could have one of those facials the morning of my wedding because I would feel 10 out of 10. Okay, SPF is on. We're going to continue with the glow. We're gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Unreal Skin. This is a really lightweight stick foundation. If you like a glow, but you don't want anything heavy coverage, this is beautiful. It's kind of a flawless filter in stick. Form, but there's just something about it that just makes it a little bit less in your face than flawless filter like this you could just wear alone whereas flawless filter I can't put all over my face it just looks too glowy whereas this is like the subtle little sister but it's just beautiful and I think it has a tad more coverage as well but really not a lot of coverage I personally really like it as a like pre base so I love to put this on and then put my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless filter over the top and it's like the perfect glowy combination, especially when I'm having photos taken. So I literally just take, this is such high coverage, so I just take a tiny amount of this foundation and then I apply that where I need it, kind of in the center parts of my face, over my pigmentation, which is just ruining the vibe. I should probably have that peeled off, it's just so close to my eye area. I'm scared. Okay. Flawless filter is on. The glow is still coming through, even with flawless filter on, which is really saying something. Because that foundation is high coverage and it's not the most luminous foundation, so I'm impressed. Corrector, which is very needed today, because I didn't sleep the best. The beds are so comfy though. I love this hourglass brush for my concealer. Nothing blends quite like this. Every so often I feel the boat rock. It's the strangest feeling when i was trying to run in the gym it honestly it was like end of the world apocalyptic training i was on the treadmill trying to run and the ground was moving underneath me so i just played a little game in my head of end of the world training it's quite fun one of my tips if you're ever struggling in the gym and struggling for motivation and just you just want to give up is just pretend that you're in gladiator training okay what are we wearing today i think i might go for this you might have seen this before in the last vlog and then i have this pair of trousers that are almost like a bit matchy and they're really gorgeous and i haven't actually worn either of these before they're both from mango both super old i had to take the trousers up it's taken me a good year and a half to take the trousers up the top has actually been worn i just haven't taken the tag out and then i think this bag yep very nice very south of francy and then i'm thinking these shoes but i might take another flat pair to walk in but these the pigs and then drawer of dreams i think oh my god actually this is a tough one this is a tough one i might take a few pairs in my bag i really want to shoot these gorgeous pearl vintage earrings i also just desperately need to get photos of me wearing the hearts because they are the best ones in my opinion also have these as well maybe i go with something more daytime oh i don't know I'm not the libra trying to make decisions and spectacularly failing okay let's take these sunnies actually i'm going to shoot these later i'm going to take these now and then also these engagement ring let's not forget that okay perfect so this is my outfit for lunch i love this outfit. It's actually criminal that it's taken me a good two years to take up these trousers because they're so 
nice they're really slim and lightweight and just like skim over my body really really nicely honestly i'm kicking myself for not doing this sooner i just wonder whether them at the bottom you can kind of see a little bit i'm gonna have them properly altered once i am home but i love it with this mango top they just pair so nicely together and then the addition of the raffia bag is just perfect posh holiday vibes that's what <laughs> that's what i'm calling this it's not just it's not casual holiday vibes it's like posh holiday vibes and i love it in terms of jewelry i have got oh i've got no earrings in i need to put my earrings in i'm gonna wear these let's put them in in the wardrobe this is my dream closet like down to the wood everything this like cool toned wood has been on my mood board for years it's so spinny though so you know me i decided to be really practical and pick a wedding instead of a walk-in wardrobe which some people think is practical but a walk-in wardrobe is for life not just a day you know but i couldn't resist so yeah i'm wearing these ribbed drop earrings Camera. i always call them ribbed but i'm sure they have a like cuter name than that but that's just what i'm calling them for now until the actual names eventually sink in over the course of the collection they will eventually sink into my brain so those are the earrings just perfect 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 for this outfit and then i've got the chunky t-bar necklace which i just love and then i have my statement ring which i'm actually going to put on this finger and give this hand space to breathe and then i've also got my textured t-bar bracelet as well that is me ready to roll time for lunch look at victoria's earrings <laughs> we're just getting ready to go out to saint Tropez for the day and it's so funny you can just see all the boats coming out from underneath and starting to depart it's so cute we've got these little tiny green boats i've gone for a little change for the afternoon this was unplanned but i actually just wanted to make sure i wore this outfit on this trip because it's just too good not to and i just love it and there's just not that much of summer left you know so we're just we're just doing the most i think i might switch my earrings for the battered coin earrings i think that could be really nice that like they make a nice statement but yeah this is a whole odd muse outfit so we've got the top is from odd muse this is their lime cream from the summer resort collection and then the white trousers which are just such a staple and they go with the white blazer which i also just got and i'm waiting for this to come back into stock in the white as well and then i will be a very happy i will be an eternally happy girly so yeah i'm just gonna switch my earrings over and we are ready to go to saint tropez leaving the boat bye they're so cute they really suit you i need to get you them they're gonna be a present they hide my sideburns <laughs> they i'm wearing the little i think ryan calls these shredded wheats we've been naming them after shredded cereals <laughs> We keep naming them after cereals at the moment for some reason. Yeah. The shreddies. I was going to wear these, but I've donated them. I did message him. Hello, hello. Please can I have? Come for ice cream. There's so many choices. How are you meant to choose? Oh my god. Oh, sweet baby. That is enormous. What are you going for? Potion out of chocolate. Cheers, mate. What did you, what flavors are these? No, 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 no. So you're about to see it. You're about to see it. dripping everywhere. Hello? Can I try the bubblegum? Is that allowed? Yeah, of course. It's not hygienic. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh my god, that's Give us please, give us please. Oh my god, it's the red place from Emily in Paris. Oh my god, you guys. Ah! Pia doesn't know this, but whenever I come to France, I turn into an Emily in Paris fangirl. <laughs> I did you know the what? last time I was in Paris, I did the walking tour. No, you know what? I, found it I do remember the last time when I saw you in Cannes. Trey, and and we did, you did, um, I don't know if you did an audio where you referenced something, and I was like, that my friend is an Emily in Paris fan. <laughs> <laughs> It was it. I was it. I'm Trey Exite. Because <laughs> that one will always get me. Where the, she's like, that doesn't mean excited. That means horny. <laughs> You'll actually hate this, but I haven't watched season two or three yet. Oh, I've only done number one. To be one. fair, I feel like the first season is the best season, but I do love it. Season two, I think they come to Saint Tropez, and it is a vibe, and I love it. She's going to Rome in the next half of season four, and I'm so excited for that. This area is so pretty. Mm. Guys, whenever Ryan stands on a curb, I have one thought. Imagine how much harder our relationship would be if you were this much taller than me. Thanks for the under chin. Oh, this is so pretty. Isn't it cute? This is the cutest. Yeah. It's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, sweet boy. This is stunning. Like, this feels like what I was expecting. Everyone smile. 
It's way easier to hold your hand like this. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> what, because I'm actually holding it at your level? Cheers! Um, this is the bougiest pharmacy I have ever been in. Oh my god. Just this please. Someone's been shopping. <laughs> Bougie guy. Shopping in Saint Tropez. Cute sunnies. Merci. Merci. <laughs> All I bought was dry shampoo because I'm so dishevelled. <laughs> I feel like a shell of my former self. When I woke up this morning, I felt cute. It's very warm. I've been very windswept. <laughs> you girl needed dry shampoo. Back to the boat. That's not the boat. That's the boat. Step closer and big step. Big step. Hello, Hi. welcome back. Would you like to Oh my god, yes, thank yes, you. Thank you. We are back in the room. Look at that view. How fun is that? It's gorgeous. I've got the whole view of Santa Fe. This this kind of view makes cruising like worth it. Oh, I just want to lie out there, but I need to get ready for dinner. Ryan's having a snack. Having a snack, being a snack. We also need to pick an outfit for tonight. I'm thinking I'm either going to go for this dress, which you have probably seen me wear many times, or this dress, which I actually think I wore the last time I was in the south of France. But I want to wear it with my with my shoes because I want to get a pick of them. And then I'll probably change because I don't want to get them dirty yet. But yeah, potentially, potentially that. And yeah, then round to this side, we have Ryan's wardrobe, which just looks so cool. This is a very cool man's wardrobe. I like the vibe that's going on in here. Now I need to jump in the shower because we do not have long until dinner. So I'm I'm determined to not be late tonight. God loves a dryer. <laughs> but I think Susanna's just had another Radio 1 play. Yeah! I think. This is going to be a very sad clip if you're wrong. Well, I've just been tagged in from the PR which says what radio things we've been played on. I don't know what her sh like show... Like when it is. Like, yeah. I can't do this as <laughs> Another one! <laughs> Another one! Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
gorgeous. Oh my god. Morning girls, just washed my face. I'm getting ready for the gym. I have been fully dedicated to the gym life recently and I honestly don't know what's gotten into me. I'm just rolling with it. I've actually started running, which is the most on me thing because I hate high intensity cardio of any kind, but I've actually been really enjoying it. Turns out endorphins are real. So getting ready to go to the gym. Yeah, again, I actually slept so much better last night than I did the night before. Like I actually feel human today, which is so nice. But anyway, my skin is so juicy right now. Like after I took my makeup off last, la last night, I normally look absolutely haggard when it's late it was so late when we got back last night and i took my i took my makeup off so i'm post cleanse where my skin normally looks its deadest and i was like well, how am i still glowy like that facial yesterday was on another level if you ever get the chance to have a one month skin facial i would highly recommend it was lovely and we did like the best they could go harder but obviously because we're so close to the wedding we really did just like a super gentle really hydrating really plumping facial on me and it was everything everything i would absolutely have another one so i'm trying to keep up the effects of yesterday's facial and i've used this moisturizer which is one of their new ones from one 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 skin it's the cryo revitalizing moisturizer and it's meant to give the same amazing benefits and like effects that cryotherapy actually give you and they've done loads of research into it and it's just honestly hearing them talk about it in the last night was so fascinating i'm also going to use this sun cream it's a repair sun cream this took them five years to make sun cream is so hard to make this is a up 50 plus 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 it's amazing they were telling me about it last night and i was like i need to try this spf this sounds incredible I'm trying this today i'm very excited i'm gonna be going in the sun today so i'm really intrigued to see how my pigmentation is at the end of the day because that's how i judge a good sun cream is how my under eye pigmentation flares up if it does or if it doesn't i have a list of sun creams that are like on my approved list for not flaring up my pigmentation and being like really good protection on my skin so i have high hopes for this it sounds incredible and oh my god it just makes my skin look so nice apparently it absorbs really nicely as well like really quickly so you're not like left with a lot of residue on your skin which i know a lot of people don't like i personally love the glow but yeah this is there SPF. It has so many benefits to it. I'm so excited. I have a one-to-one -one with the founders today and I'm so excited to just ask them all my skincare questions because I love skincare and I have so many questions. So that's going to be very fun. Also, they delivered almond milk and syrup to my room this morning. How nice is that so that I could have my matcha in my room? This Supiata is, is not a joke. It is the bougiest thing. I think it might be the bougiest place I've ever been. Oh my god, that dry shampoo saved me. If you're going to a French pharmacy, you must get this. I don't know if we can get it in the UK, but if you do see it, get it. I'm gonna run some product through my brows and then I think I'm ready. I can't let people see me without eyebrows these days. You know, you, like when you're a kid, your mom would always have that one non-negotiable. My one like non-negotiable is my brows. Even if it's just a tiny amount, I have to do my brows. I can't go out with bare, bare brows. <laughs> We're now officially live on the Radio website. I'm so excited. I didn't get a chance to look yesterday. It was such a busy day, but look, there's me. Oh my God, it's so cool. Oh, I love these images. <laughs> this was such a fun shoot. Fun fact, water actually started pouring through the ceiling halfway through. Sold out. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. This is so exciting. I get so emotional with these collections. I just, they are, like have a special little piece of my heart. Like I just, jewelry just sets my soul on fire. I just absolutely love it. And I just get so like emotional when you guys like just are enjoying it so much. Like I've been loving it, seeing all of your DMs with what you've been buying. It's just so nice. <laughs> on our way to the gym. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> This is my outfit of the day. We are spending it by the pool. This shirt doesn't really go, but I've just thrown it on because I don't want to like offend anyone just like walking around basically with my top off. But I've got this Jacquemus shirt on and then the, I think it's Sin Sin? I don't know, that, that bikini. I'm obsessed with this print, it's so beautiful. I love the design and like the gold bits. It's just so nice. And then I've got some very low rise, really easy trousers on, my YSL sliders because what else? and then my YSL big tote because we've got to take all the SPFs. Oh, and then for jewelry, I just have on the heart earrings. I just wanted to keep it a little bit simple and Celine Sunnies. And then I've got a little hat in my bag to protect that parting. Got 
got a really sexy hat and sunglasses combo on right now because we are having all day. How amazing is this? <laughs> got my faves here. Hello. Bonjour. 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 Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. Get ready with me for dinner. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just having a cry, a stress cry. This is the behind the scenes of trips that you don't see. I'm hosting my first event ever next week and I'm just so nervous. I think I have hit the point where I can't like hold myself together any longer since I came off the pill. I find it really easy to hold myself together and stay composed even when I'm like at boiling point, but it just, I am um, really, struggling today yeah so we're getting ready for dinner we're gonna put some makeup on and like just hope that i pull myself together it's been a really emotional week like launching collections is like so much pressure and i'm still putting a lot of pressure on myself and then i have another launch on friday and in between that i'm trying to like work and be very present and socialize and then i have other things that are like going on and needing to be signed off and then i have an event that I'm hosting next week and I just have just reached the point <laughs> it's getting a bit too much now my pot's just like boiling over so the reality of what goes on on a press trip <laughs> need more eye cream just use the one on one skin eye cream it's so nice and like cooling and depuffing which is exactly what I need having just bald like a baby I also use the repair serum which has a little bit of their like secret sauce in it that helps your skin like heal really beautifully and gives it that like lovely juiciness and as you can see it's very sheeny not me having just done a full like deep chat and emotional outburst and now I'm talking about skincare but it's it's nice, it's nice to divert and then the cryo revitalizing moisturizer which is just gorgeous we have more eye cream I don't want to be buffy okay Corrector. Let's do pretend like we didn't just cry makeup. Honestly, it's my own fault though. I don't know how we ended up doing so much in the space of seven days. It's actually quite ludicrous. So I did this to myself. Apart from having a complete breakdown upon getting back to my room, I had a really nice afternoon at the pool with Vic and Amelia and Alex. Amelia has now left the boat which i'm so sad about so we have one final evening together with the 111 skin team so we're gonna all go and eat at i think it's a japanese restaurant that's on the yacht which will be so nice i love japanese food and then i need to come back and pack up all of my things because we leave tomorrow i'm so sad i've absolutely loved it i i have to say i didn't love like the the journey here. I found it quite choppy and that was quite difficult, especially obviously when I was trying to sleep, but it's worth it for being here. It's just amazing. To the point where I don't wanna leave, I could definitely do. I think I could do another three days of this. It would be so nice, maybe another two. Outfit of the evening, we have my favorite Reformation dress. It's this gorgeous cream silk and then we have my Simkai bag, all of my Aurelia collection jewelry. We've got the drop hearts, the T-bar necklace, the pebble ring and then all three bracelets on my wrist as well i've gone for this little half up half down and then my chanel perspex sandals which have been a firm fave on this trip brian's looking gorgeous in brown we're both very neutral today it's very blue in here they can't really see you but Stink. gorgeous Sh brown shrimpy shade shrimpy he's wearing a sh he's wearing the shade of shrimp That's what it reminds me of, a gorgeous shade of shrimp <laughs> I'm so scared of dropping my camera out here. <laughs> There's no glass. Morning. Wow. Every morning there's a different view. It's just incredible. Soothing and a matcha. Soothing and a matcha. Easy got a matcha. Good morning. <laughs> I feel like we haven't seen you at all in the vlog. Aww, charming. <laughs> Cut me out. <laughs> Wasn't here really. <laughs> I've barely vlogged outside of the room. Do you know I haven't either? I'll have to look back at my footage. Yeah. I feel like it's all room based. Still. I know. Maybe it'll be better than we think it's going to be. Yeah. Surely I've been in it once or twice. <laughs> Hi. And the best time. We missed you. It's been a whole one vlog that you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's been a whole week. Oh well. yeah. No. No. Wait, I'll see you next. For your wedding. Mm. I think I will. That's so far. Yeah, Unless you're free on the 11th. Of, of September? Yeah. I might be. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. What my diary's doing. We'll see. <laughs> you, you say that it's me who does this. <laughs> Susie is having a breakdown. I said I won't see you for a while and this is what happened. She just got really upset. Tears of joy. She, she broke down. She was like, Vic, no, I can't not see you for a week. Please. And I was like, babe, calm down, it's okay. And then this happened. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm crying out of like, laughter or sadness. <laughs> oh, tiredness. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> so good to see you. Good little bit. Enjoy your trip home. Just the two of us. sad to leave. It's sad to leave. Uh, yeah. It's so gorgeous here. Look at this. Oh my god. I haven't seen this part of the view. Wow. I know I always it's say this gorgeous. when we go away, but is that not in James Bond? It could be. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> oh, there's the other pool. Oh, I wonder if Vic and Alex are down there. Bye, guys. Guys, so we're trying to leave the boat. We're trying to leave, and every time Ryan goes, he goes down there to pee, and instead, he keeps coming back up with more food. Have you have you peed? <laughs> what have you got now? Sorbet. What sorbet is it? Just like a mixed berry, I think. Is it nice? Yeah, it's really nice. Can I try? Feed me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where it ends up on my nose. <laughs> I was so scared. I'm leaving the boat. Bye, boat. As if we were just on that. I can't lie. I'm so excited to go home and see my dog. <laughs> wow. Bye, Elma. Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to pick our wedding scenting. Our wedding scenting. So bougie. I'm very excited. Into German I make That's a really nice one as well. I, I used to wear that. With the perfume. Yeah. I think we have our three. These smell so good together. I reckon that one's at UK and I think for wedding. It's a time we went together. That one's just UK. And it's like a spice. Yeah. Really nice. Um, don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe it's up. Sorry. That's so nice. That's fit well fig and cassis. Oh yeah, nice. It reminds me a little bit of the green tomato vine. Yes, it's got that like black yes. currantine yeah, it's got ness really, yeah. to it. It's, it's so really nice. Isn't it? mm, we've made our choices. I think we're there. The more we smell, the more difficult it gets. <laughs> Are you excited? I feel like more excited now. You know like when we were doing the mood boards for the visuals and then we were doing the playlists and it's almost like you can it's yeah, another part that. of envisioning the day. Yeah. So nice. Now I can smell the day. It'd be amazing. It's Wolf's Head for Ibiza. Wow. That's so nice. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. You can keep going, though, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> you can really I really, I could, I, I just said there's so many smells that I am yet to smell from, like, Joe Malone just keeps on going. Yeah, yeah. Have you spent the new one, the marmalade? Orange no. marmalade? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> There's so many smells I am yet to smell. Like, every time I think I've smelled every Joe Malone fragrance there is, they're like, but what about this? Marin Tonka. Best one. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a good one to have the cosplay. Yeah, it's so versatile. Mm. I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm having to restrain myself from buying the fragrance of it. I love it that much, but I might do that after the wedding because I don't want to. It's nice to save it for the wedding. Yeah, especially when I'm, I'm so stressed at the moment. I don't want to remember just being stressed. Yeah, at oh some point <laughs> yeah, so. This is so cute. It's cool, isn't it? <gasps> I love it. Thank you so much. That's adorable. My little throws on the top. So cute. Good morning. 
we are going to be doing some speed makeup this morning you guys i need to leave for london in the next half an hour which should be enough time i know to get makeup on your face but i wear a lot of makeup i just wear a lot of makeup okay so today it is the 2nd of september it is officially my legal wedding month she's gonna be a wife this month I'm so excited, but also I can't lie, I'm crumbling slightly at the moment. There's just a lot of emotions going on right now. And today is actually a very special day because today my Charlotte Mills shoes are launching. We actually had to push the launch back slightly. There's always a last minute setback isn't there but today i am hosting an event with charlotte mills to celebrate the launch and i'm so excited but also so nervous i've never done anything like this before and classic me it's not been entirely smooth sailing to be honest <laughs> on friday i found out that the dress i was going to be wearing it wasn't able to be altered in time i didn't have my usual lady alter it who is just mega fast and amazing and i just i should i know i should have just stuck to what i know but yeah i was told on friday it wasn't going to be ready for today so cue me trying to find a last minute outfit the theme is obviously white by by the way i have two dogs in the house at the moment if you see a little white fluffy thing running around it's my mum's i believe they are by the sounds of things playing under the bed <laughs> guys okay they can just chill there that's that's nice but anyway yeah i had to find an outfit at the last dying second so if my outfit is just a little bit like not me i was meant to be wearing something a lot more fun but i've decided to go for something kind of like bridal chic Ish. it's like a it's a look that i haven't done before in my bridal wardrobe i haven't gone for anything like this yet so i thought that could be fun to do something a bit different especially as the event is more east way and my hotel is in east london so it's a little bit more cool i thought i'd go for something a little bit less cutesy just popping on a little bit of eyeshadow to set my concealer i've decided just to do my base just in terms of saving time when I get to London. But I am very nervous for tonight. My safety blanket, my safety blankets, plural, are um, actually away. This could not have been avoided in any way. I am so sad about it. It's completely not their fault. There's no drama, because that was my first panic. When we set this date, I knew Amelia and Victoria were not free and we couldn't really do any other date and like push back further. So my besties, are not going to be with me and they are like my social <laughs> safety blanket i am i'm okay in social situations but i always feel a hundred times better obviously when my best friends are in the room with me but yeah they are in can they're not going to be with me and i have severe fomo but there are some amazing girlies coming to this event tonight some of my other lovely lovely friends who i'm just so grateful to them for coming out to, just to everyone and for the brand i'm just really really grateful do you know what one thing i really need to do at the moment is look back at my makeup from this time last year because i saw a photo and my makeup was just 10 out of 10 i just really enjoyed it i'm gonna be watching back an old vlog to get a little tutorial on what products i was using because i don't feel like i'm loving my makeup routine at the moment i think i'm over the over blushing and i want to look how i looked in november <laughs> there was a lot more eye makeup going on and i really liked it i'm going to do brows and then i think i'm going to save the rest for when i'm in london and i've got contacts in i am obsessed with these brow products at the moment i was using one from uk lash which i have completely used up and i'm now using the <laughs> refi which no longer says refi because it's so well loved this is the brow pomade in the shade medium I think I used the same or similar shade in UK Lash as well. These are so nice. They're very, very quick and easy to use. And I really like the shades. So I would recommend these if you have quite sparse eyebrows that you want to fill in quickly. I'm going to use Armani 102. I was using this a lot last autumn and I know I really like this. So going back to that, this is Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Honey. This is a really nice dark ready like a warm brownie lip liner it goes really nicely if you've got like a peachy nude lip we are done just need to finish my smoothie get my stuff packed up and i think we're ready just had to carry the suitcase all the way up here I did arms today what bad timing hi how are you yeah thank you we're going to shoreditch thank you so much have a nice day Ooh, my god, these corridors are crazy. 615, this way. Wow. <laughs> it's giving bougie as hell mixed with American horror story. Is this me? Yes. Ooh. 
Ooh. Gorgeous. I can't lie, they really snake you with the size of this room online. <laughs> Need to check out the bathroom because I'm very passionate about the bathrooms. Ooh. Pretty. Tiny. Thank you. I've just sat in silence for a good 20 minutes because I I think I'm very nervous. I don't even know why I'm nervous. I go to events all the time. This is technically no different. I mean, my name is kind of on it. It's not even fully me hosting it. I'm like co-hosting it. It's not, it's not, te it's not my whole, yeah, I'm definitely nervous. It's, it's almost like a paralyzing kind of nervous. Like I just don't feel like I can do anything. I just feel like a bunny in headlights, but it's half three. So I guess I should get ready. Okay, we are running a tiny bit behind, but that's fine. I, hope. I did under eye mascara for the first time in so long. I would say a good six months. I think this is what my face has been missing. It's nice. It's nice. I like it. I feel like my eyes look more balanced now, obviously. We are going to put on some jewelry before we really quickly steam this dress. Right, jewelry. I'm going to go with these ones from my vintage Aurelia collection, I think. And then the chain, ooh, oh no, that was a hair clip, that's fine. The chunky chain. And we're going to go for the cross tennis bracelet. Oh, we'll go for the textured as well. That's nice. I like that. Pebble ring. Would be rude not to. I'm also going to do an updo, which I haven't done it in a while. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you my outfit earlier. I'm wearing my Capri trousers with this Odd Muse water top on. This is the new one. I've had it altered now, so it fits really, like, not too snug. My other one's a bit too snug here, but, like, this one is perfect i think perfect amount of like support but not too tight and my arms don't feel too restricted i might oh i think i might switch it up i'm going to wear these these are the best studs ever i'm obviously biased these are from my aurelia edit yeah this is nice nice and nice and simple because the dress is kind of simple but also statement at the same time and then we're doing a chunky neck perfect love 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 oh no i've got eyeliner on my phone Ooh, or I do have these earrings. Okay, now we're gonna go for these. And I'm gonna take my clip-ons with me because Rosie messaged me saying she does not have jewelry. I can't have her being without. She was like, I've forgotten all my jewelry. I was like, you are, you're seeing the right girl this evening. Everything will be fine. Okay, great. We are on to hair. I've curled the front pieces and now I'm just going to do the world's fastest bun, hopefully. So. Ponytail. I'll pull bits out in a bit in front of the mirror. On the second one, we're going to bring the hair like this. Be a little bit more. Pull it in. And then we are going to wrap it around. And you take this little end and you pin it in and hope you've got enough hair clips to hand. I really could have done with bigger ones of these, but I don't really think this through. This is a last minute hair job. It's also way nicer if you curl your whole head of hair first and leave pieces like dangling, but we do not have time. Make sure the front pieces are fully pulled out, all of the wispy bits. Always dry shampoo front curls. Maybe not that much, that was a lot, oh my god. Always do this with your front bits, I don't know why, I just think it makes them look really good. Okay. Cute, okay. That'll do. Yay! I am ready. I am boob taped to the high heavens because I'm sure everyone has seen enough of me after the summer. Okay. Wait. <laughs> All of the essentials in this bag. Okay, I need the perfume and I need shoes and then we are good to go. I am going to go with a slightly newer fragrance today. Scarlet Poppy. I have been loving. Right. Okay. Taking this pair of shoes for one of my friends who is going to wear them at the event. Hers actually didn't get curried on time, which is very sad. And then I have two of my Charlotte Mills designs to wear. So the first pair, we have these gorgeous polka dot mesh shoes, which have been a firm favorite. Almost all of the girls that I was allowed to gift, I had five, in terms of like the stock allowance, I had five girls that I was allowed to gift like my exact shoe to. The rest of the girls tonight are going to be wearing like various choices from Charlotte Mills. So lots of them are wearing the Mia, which I also own and I think is an amazing shoe choice. But pretty much everyone that I was allowed to gift one of my shoes to, when I asked them which they prefer, they said this one. However, so this is the Taylor 
they're named after my cousins. I think Taylor is going to pee her pants when she finds that out. But then we also have the Lucia, my little Cheech. My aunt actually sent me a video of her reacting to finding out that I'd named it after her this morning, which was so cute. So we have the Lucia, which is the adorable bow back open sandal. And this comes in a block heel and also sexy thick heel. I'm just not a block heel girly, but I understand that some of us get married on grass and some of us are just sensible. I'm less sensible, but I just think they're the, the most gorgeous shoe ever. I think I'm gonna wear these this evening with the dress because I don't know, I feel like this dress just naked dress, naked shoe. I tried both pairs on at home and this, this was the pair. So this is what we're gonna go with. Okay, this is the outfit. There is not a mirror in this room that is not in the dark, so I hope you can see it. I just love my friends. I just love them. Okay, we have made it. We are in a very old building. This is old Clerkenwell House. I'm whispering because it's very echoey. Old Clerkenwell. Old Sessions House. Old Sessions House. <laughs> Oh my god, you look amazing! Yeah, okay. You'll just get a drink. Yeah, so. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's so pretty. I don't know how nice your hair looks. Lovely. Right? Yeah, I was just crying in the dark. Oh, that's so nice. Got a whole backstage room. Wow. Guys. Hello Susie Vlog, we're very very proud of you. Doesn't she look gorgeous? The food smells amazing by the way. Yeah. It really does. It's just that we need to eat. Tomatoes, but it's yeah. so good. It, honestly, cheese and tomatoes. There's no better smell than cheese and tomatoes. Say hi as well. Thank you so much for coming and thank you Susie for giving us the opportunity. Beautiful shoes. No, it's been amazing. Oh, I love you. Doing this collaboration with you is definitely such a high, like one of my favourite moments of the whole wedding journey. And just to have like the perfect shoes, I think really are so perfect. And you guys have smashed it doing like the most comfortable shoes, like they really are. I literally can run in these, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you to everyone for everyone's effort. It's amazing. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're on to dessert. I barely vlog, honestly. I literally have got here and if, when you're hosting things, like you have to speak to people, you can't vlog. We've been chatting away too. I know, and I, I talk too much. No, but it's not my whole half of the table is sat here like googling their star signs and I'm like this is this is the most me coded thing that could happen at an event. I know I'm yeah, this is great. My main no. I know. No, you honestly I do it to people all the time. When I meet someone new, I'm like, okay, when is your birthday? And then we get to know each other a bit better and I'm like, what time were you born? <laughs> Like, it's just if you get into a new relationship, learning your love languages. Oh, I love that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so yeah. important. Yeah, but Mitz and Tom are with the same size as each other. No. He's like a, he needs to be spoken to. Really? And, and he loves, like, he loves like, for example, if he's had a sleepover with someone and they've been like, oh, let's go out and have a drink. He's like, no, we're not going out for a drink. We're going out for dinner. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
such a cute ending. I've had the best it's dinner. Like this is my infant's the bridal shower. Oh my goodness me. It's just incredible. Hello. So it turns out it's really difficult to host an event and do content all yourself all at the same time. Honestly, no idea what we're gonna end up with from that. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a snippet into my evening. It was just such a whirlwind. It was really nice and really good to see everybody. So many of my friends came, which was so nice. And the shoes launched whilst we were there. So again, TVC, but I think it's going really well, which is amazing. So if you did buy a pair of shoes, thank you so much. All I know is that the team were very happy and very smiley when they left. So I feel like it's going well so far, but I'm gonna catch up with them in the morning and chat to them about it properly but it was just such a lovely evening it was so beautiful i kept saying to everybody like okay we need to lower our expectations for what we think my wedding is going to look like because i don't know that it's going to be this stunning like the events team i will list it. like everything was perfect from the events to the food like everything was insane i will list everyone that like helped out because honestly the food team i have not had a dinner like event dinner in this industry that was actually that good in a very very long time like the food at these events is normally not what you go for but that food everyone was like wow this food is really good and i was like yeah we need to we need to be spreading the word about this catering team because they are stunning yeah and it was just so so beautiful the location was amazing it was old session house on Clerkenwell road it's really really beautiful and the team there that kind of felt like we're running everything were really sweet as well so just like such a lovely evening it was really nice to see eva we had lucy and lydia we had emily blackwell sabina who i just love she's just the sweetest human being Fleur came it was really nice to see her and then alice and olivia as well are just so nice i'll list everyone that came in the info box because they're just honestly like the nicest nicest girls we are going to take some makeup off oh, i really like this hair i feel sad to be taking it out 